everybody. I'm David Stein, Artistic Director of the Focal Point. Um, I don't usually do announcements, but I, you know, that's, that's why I'm here, Mike. Uh, but Mike's uh, laid up at home right now with a, with a sore foot after falling down some stairs. So let's everybody just, uh, just give some good, good feelings to Mike. Um, we have a shout out also to uh, Kelly News booking tonight's show, the second, the second so, um, uh, so uh, while you're while you're watching, please uh, please please share share and comment as as we go. Uh, stream is free, but uh, donations are recommended. Um, and uh, there'll be links to PayPal and Venmo um, on 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 the on the stream as as we go. Suggested donations may be ten to fifteen bucks. And uh, when you enter your donation, please put the uh, the band's name in the box.
Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.
You guys at home are having a great time. Uh, this is a very new experience for us. I've never done a live stream, and I don't even know where to look. So if I look crazy, I'm like, what's happening? Um, so, yeah. Uh, next tune I'm going to play, we're going to slow it down a little bit. We're going to play a piece called Air Tune, which was originally composed by Liz Carroll, a famous fiddle player from Chicago. But she pl wrote it as a reel, but we're going to play it as a slow piece ish, like a slow jam. And then we're going to go into a march called Napoleon Crossing the Rhine. So hope you enjoy. I'm going to get a drink of water. Thank you. 
You guys are enjoying your time at home, having some drinks or food, a charcuterie board. I've been into that recently. Um, so, all right, we'll go into the next set. Um, so, my sister and I um, were basically in lockdown together for a few months, and uh, we came up with this tune. We wrote both of these tunes coming up. Uh, the first one's called The Bedroom Partition Hornpipe because uh, in my childhood home, our beds, we shared a room, and our beds were basically one inch apart from each other. So we definitely needed some kind of partition, especially during lockdown when we're adults and sharing a room. That was a very interesting experience. So we'll do the bedroom partition, which my sister Shannon and Kelly and I wrote, and then the fazenda jig, and fazenda means farm in Portuguese, and I'm half Brazilian, by the way. Um, so we named it that. So it's a hornpipe into a jig. Oh, 
we'll just get straight into it then. Uh, so the next one, I it's a waltz, again, because waltzes are one of my favorite tunes. Um, so it's called Emma's Waltz, which is actually a Finnish waltz, because I like to throw weird things in the mix. Um, and I got it from the playing of Damien Milan. Um, so it's kind of a trad Irish version of a Finnish waltz. Um, and then I'm going to go into a jig, which I don't know the name of, so I'm going to call it Gone Anum. And then into a Scottish, which I also don't know what the name of, so we'll figure it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
right. Um, I think I have time for one more. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, so we're going to play. Uh, oh, just kidding. I'm going to do two more. I'm not good at the timing thing. Um, okay, so next I'm going to play. Well, we're going to do something weird again. Um, I'm going to do an old time Missouri fiddle tune. Uh, it's called Dry and Dusty, and I got it off the playing of Brittany Haas. Um, I just love the way it sounds. And I tried to pick all flutey things um, that I think would sound really nice. The next tune I'm going to go into is a slip jig called Liam's Child. Um, it's also composed by Liz Carroll, who I talked about earlier, the fiddle player from Chicago. Um, and then I'm going to go into another new, newly composed uh, slip jig, which has no name, um, but it's very snazzy, which is why I picked it. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so the last piece I'm going to do, um, is called the Teddy Paw, Teddy's Dirty Paw set. Um, so the first tune is called Teddy's Paw. My sister and I made it a while back. Usually when we're composing tunes, we're just throwing bits and pieces at each other and then we slowly piece them together. Um, and this one worked out and then I'm going to go into a reel I don't know the name of. And then um, one of my favorite tunes called The Rookery. And I always end every set I play with The Rookery because it's the best, you know? Um, all right, so hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for having us. Focal Point, um, thank you to Ashby Laws for accompanying me, um, to the other great flute players that are playing tonight. Um, yeah, so this has been very fun. So thank you for the experience.
Safe, man. Hello. Uh, well, if you're still tuning in, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Tommy Martin. I'll, I'll also be playing a few tunes on the flute, and uh, I'll have to. I have a list of tunes to play um, on my, well, you know, original uh, tablet here. So in no particular order. Well, I have a list now. Let's, let's see what's on it. Um, 
Anyway, before I start playing, uh, thanks again to Jennifer and Ashby for those lovely tunes. And of course, thanks to Dan uh, for playing those great tunes beforehand too. As Jennifer said, this is a very new experience uh, for all of us, I suppose, in, in this day and age. Um, but it's, again, it's still wonderful to be invited to play at such a uh, unique event. And uh, I hope these kind of events stay new, unique uh, in the future because we want to have live audiences all over again. But anyway, in the saying that, uh, what let's start? I might. <laughs> These old flutes. This is an old flute. It was made in the 1840s in New York by a, a company called Fair Holland Pond. It sounds like a, a kind of a, a legal firm, but uh, they, they make good instruments. But they're old, and, and uh, you know, once the winter starts kicking in, they do strange things. <laughs> Anyway, I start with two reels, so I'll jump right into it. Uh, two reels. The first tune is called uh, Spoil the Dance. And the second tune I'll play with that is called, uh, I don't know actually the name of it, but I believe it's it's one of the uh, the tunes um, made famous by the, the great Sligo musician John Stenson. So give it a word. I 
synthesized version of, of the Gaelic word for drape, which means uh, magic or magical. Because um, uh, I suppose we went to some sort of magic type of game here, but uh, we need to hear this sort of thing here. Um, so I'll get some magic type stuff. Um, so the drunk came out, I played that, and I uh, didn't play it. The tune, I heard this tune on a, a wax cylinder. Well, it was a digitized version of a wax cylinder. Hyper compact to be done for college. I don't know, 100 years ago, probably around 1970 or 80, a little over 100 years ago. Uh, and it was actually the title of the tune that uh, caught my attention because uh, I just thought it was out. It's a tune called Terry Hay Hole the Grinder. Obviously, technically, it's not called Terry, and it's very jolly, and it's a grinder, I suppose, which is a true method because it's sharpened. This is a lower pitch flute, in case the main line. Keep copying, it's fine. And this is very good. This is very Cincinnati. Play a couple of uh, it's been a jolly tunes from well, the first one's from Scotland. 
Even though it was actually written as a, as a, as a slower, which was very enjoyable. But uh, it, it's kind of interesting that I guess that's turned into a kind of a marriage kind of a tune. Uh, and it's, and it was, it's uh, written by, uh, I think, uh, I guess it's a great historical uh, Scottish theater director, if I had really, and composer, and kind of Neil Gow. And the tune is called uh, Neil's Neil Gow's uh, Farewell to Quiz. The tune was actually written in 1799 because in 1799 the Scottish Parliament, uh, or at least Scotland, Scottish government, uh, put a, ban, a prohibition ban on, uh, on whiskey. Because there was a club, I know, there was a club failure. Um, there was a kind of small, uh, I used to call them in many towns, um, but there was a, a crop of wheat uh, and grain failure. Uh, so the Scottish government decided to put uh, Whiskey, so they wouldn't do the wheat and bread, but not so you know, fulfill it as a pass. Very interesting. The prohibition lasted from 1799 to 1800, so it's a catch up. Or at least the following year, because there was much more processed process, uh, uh, grain harvest. So, anyway, so that's the first one. And the second one, uh, the second channel, I put it out. Um, I don't know if I put my show down, but uh, this is getting to right now. Thank you.
questions. Thank you. 
questions. Oh, I should look up how many times we're power. Um, as I say, thank you very much. You've been a wonderful audience. And, uh, of course, as, as, you know, and then it's the same thing, it's, a, it's an unusual experience. Uh, certainly not a complaint, it's been a, a very wonderful experience. And uh, we wish Fuckle Point the best with the, with the next bunch of, of, uh, of online uh, events that they'll be hosting. And uh, again, thanks to Dan and Jennifer and us making great music. Thanks to Eric and Ryan. And of course, Dave, and we miss Mike, Mike the best look at the his foot. And so, uh, that's a free excuse for how you're watching at home, I know. Um, but thank you all, too, for uh, for uh, watching at home. And uh, keep, uh, keep, um, yeah, keep, keep on keeping on, as I say. And uh, thanks for all the, uh, should I say thanks to Mark Zuckerberg for uh, <laughs> helping out with the event as well. Uh, and of course, I believe, I may be wrong now, uh, um, Dave, if he's there, uh, or even Ryan might know. Uh, I can't see you. Um, uh, it is, people are interested now, will there be a, a link where people can watch this, uh, this concert after? On Focal Point. On Focal Point concerts on Facebook, they are great. That's what's up. Thanks again. And uh, okay, I'll finish up with two reels. Um, my fingers are out. Two, oh, two, can I take a Dublin connections? Uh, you look. Um, the first reel is a long trip that was collected from a man called Arthur Kelly who lived in North County Dublin. And there's actually kind of family connection because uh, both my grandfather, both my grandfather's legs out. And uh, this guy, Arthur Kelly, lived. Same neighborhood of course, my uh, mother's father. And uh, they, they play some tunes together. But this tune was like from Kelly in the 20s and uh, uh, was published in a book, which I understand and I don't know. I never heard of that. And then uh, there's no news which I'm going to This was really it's called Mary Fletcher. And then the second tune is from my dad's side of the family. Like, uh, my dad's father was a civil player as well. And he learned his tune in, in his youth uh, and it's called McKenna's Reel. It took a two part reel, but then he put a third part to it, and it's since uh, known as Tom Martin's reel. So, uh, so that's these two. Okay, thanks again very much, everybody, and uh, uh, enjoy the rest of your life. <laughs> Thank you.
very much. Thank you all. Have a good night. Thank you. 